Okay, John, you're about to wash the lettuce. Give us a demo on what you've done. You've been out, you've picked some beautiful lettuce straight out of the garden. Look Got at some that. Lettuces here. Fresh, yeah. brand new lettuce. And because we're not using any pesticides, there are going to be bugs on these lettuces. And so what I do is throw away the rubbish leaves there. And the rest of it I just throw in here. And you see there are some aphids flying away there. And, you know, lettuces like this, like that one I could sell. This one I can't really because it's a bit small. But it's a shame for it to go to waste. So even the small lettuces, can, you can still harvest something off them. And put them through the, the bubbler to clean them up. And they can go into the mix. Lovely small leaves. They look great in a salad. And I recycle these plastic pots as well because yep. I find a lot of my customers, you know, people are very aware of, you know, single-use plastic these days and they like to know that I'm attempting to recycle stuff. So I spend a lot of time washing those pots and reusing them. Yep, we reuse ours too. We don't waste any of them. We'll chuck all that in there. Now, this air supply is just connected to the same air pumps that are aerating all of the beds in the fish tank. So when I turn that on... Vigorous aeration. Look vigorous at that, Vigorous aeration, eh? yeah. So it doesn't really traumatise the, the, the leaves as much as if you kind of stirred it by hand, yeah, you yeah. know. And any slugs or bugs or dirt, as you say, they just they get removed and they'll, they'll fall to the bottom. So they actually fall to the bottom? They do fall to the yeah. bottom or they float around, even some of them. Even flying insects, will they fall to the bottom as well if they're Yeah, they're but even, even if they're mixed in the water, it's surprising. By the time you you know take this out, put it through the spinner, they don't stick to the leaves. They just okay, get washed off with, with the water. Yeah. How good is that? And what a simple process. And Nothing high-tech about it, is except no, that brick. Except the brick. The <laughs> That's the pretty high-tech. And it doesn't take long, you know, just 30 seconds or so. That's and really vigorous aeration. Off. Okay, air off. So I'll just turn that off. And I just put that into one of these baskets here. We've got the patented basket. Yep. These baskets are really quite cheap. So every Friday night, this is what we do, because it's probably the most popular product that I sell at the market, is actually mixed washed salad leaves. You can see there's some bugs in the water there. Yep. And there's probably the odd slug or two that's gone to the bottom. I can yep, see yep. one in the middle there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, look, there's a slug down there. Yeah, I can see that. So I can take this basket of mixed leaves. And this old washing machine was destined for the rubbish tip. And it's been repurposed as a salad. Two uh, so. patented little um, yeah. clothes hooks you put on there to hold the basket yeah. in place. So the control system for this has been removed and it's been rewired so all it does is spin. So when I turn the power on, over here, it takes a few seconds to fire up and the gearbox engages and away she go. goes. And really 20 or 30 seconds of that is quite enough to get rid of most of the water and I find I don't really need to do any more drying than that you know I, I can just take that straight out put it into bags and it's ready to sell at the market yeah what a great process and how simple is that a beat up old washer from the tip from the rubbish tip and you've modified it to make so it just spins only yeah and the spinning ratio is not too not too fast so it's definitely not too fast it looks like it when you first take it out it looks like all the leaves are squashed up against the side but you just give it a little shake like that and it's and look at that. good as gold beautiful beautiful washed clean lettuce ready for the market so into the plastic bag for the final product i sell them as half a kilo bags Done. Ready to go in the fridge, done. Straight in the freezer. Yep. Oops, sorry, not freezer. And just take note of these plastic bags. This is something John was pointing out to us. Look at this. Landfill biodegradable bag. Please do not litter. So that's a good message to have. And also think of the environment as much as possible because John was saying earlier, some people at the market worry about the use of plastic, don't they? Oh, I think people are yeah. very concerned about yeah. plastic. And, and that's fair enough. Yeah. So John's gone to as much trouble as he possibly can to do the best job possible to be able to package this stuff because I've had people say to me, why don't you use paper bags? Obviously, you can't use paper bags transmitting a product like washed clean lettuce. No, it just no, doesn't work, you know? I've tried these compostable bags as well, yep. and they, they, they're just not suitable for leafy greens, you know. They break quick, down. Well, they're designed to compost, and that's what they do in the fridge. And customers will say, you know, virtually as soon as they take the product home, it's already got a smell about it, you know. So because of the bag. Because of the bag. Mm. Yeah, so unfortunately, yeah. These, these are good for fruit, but not for leafy greens. There you go. There's a good tip, see? From someone who's learned the lessons, John, by um, 
you know, doing the experimentation and finding out the best product you can possibly use. So there's a good tip for you. I'll just straighten it out a little bit.